This is an instructional video detailing the applications and functions of the Phase 2 SRG4000 Surface Roughness Tester. The SRG4000 is an instrument designed to check surface finish with measured values displayed on a digital readout in various surface roughness parameters. Note the SRG4000 is an extremely sensitive instrument and should be treated with care to assure measurement accuracy and reliable performance. The technology used incorporates a skid type instrument in which a diamond stylus is automatically traversed across the specimen and a piezoelectric pickup records all vertical movement. Peaks and valleys are recorded and converted into a known value of a given parameter. Parameters differ in how they look at peaks and valleys. The most popular parameter here is RA, which is commonly defined as the arithmetic average roughness. There are certain criteria that need to be met in order to operate the SRG4000. You may look into the detailed specifications that are published either in our catalog, website, or operation manual for more specific information. As you can see, the SRG4000 is a handheld battery-powered instrument with graphic display and controls on top and an extended stylus which will extract and retract upon taking surface roughness samples automatically. To begin, insert the stylus that is supplied in a separate container for optimum protection. Make certain to line up the plug and press easily into the socket. Remove the reference sample from its case and make sure there are no foreign objects on the surface before testing. Power on the unit using the red button to bring up your test screen. The main interface screen should be displayed. Each indicator on the screen has a purpose. We will go over in detail the meaning of each and how to make any changes if necessary. Let's begin with leveling. You will notice on the left part of the screen a level with the zero centered. An arrow is showing to the left of the line when stylus is in contact with the workpiece ready for test, this arrow should be in the zero range. If it is not, you can cause the height adjustment on the right of the unit until the arrow points to zero. If this is impossible, it may be that you need a stand or some special fixturing to test properly. The cutoff button, the cutoff length is the sampling length of the test. The correct value is determined by approximate surface roughness. This can be referenced in a chart in the operation manual showing various ranges. Range is the amount of consecutive cutoff lengths to be evaluated in a given test. Press range and then adjust to your preference using the up and down arrows. Once you have selected your value, press range again to save it. The RARZ button determines the surface roughness parameter. The parameters are determined by your requirement, usually on a drawing or standard. If no parameter is called out, RA is commonly defaulted, the most popular being RA. This model will also read an RZ, RQ, which is RMS, and also RT. Pressing the RA, RZ button will allow you to scroll through the different parameters. The CAL button brings you to calibration mode. Once pressing, you will see CAL show on the screen. Take a test on the provided sample, first making sure your cutoff value correctly corresponds to that sample. Press start to take a test. If the value shown after test is different than values shown on the sample, use the up or down arrows to adjust the reading. Hold down arrow buttons while toning until value begins to change. Once you have correlated the value, press cutoff button to save. You are now out of calibration mode. Take another test, and if you are still not within tolerance on test, check and make certain the unit value is matched with sample, either micro inch or micron. 
The evaluation length is not too long, bringing the test area off the sample zone. Otherwise, do the calibration process again to dial the unit in closer to the sample value. The menu button, when holding down the menu button for a few seconds, you will find some other aspects of the test setup that need to be addressed. When holding down the button, the first aspect is filter. And once you see the letters F-I-L-T, use the up or down arrows to adjust your preferred filter setting. It is defaulted on RC. Holding down the menu button longer will bring you to unit. This will allow you to change from inch to metric. In the case of surface roughness, this is micro inch to micron. Use the up or down arrows to make your selection. Holding the menu button down even longer will bring you to calibration mode and operation is the same as we previously discussed. Finally, after about 12 to 15 seconds of holding the menu button, the last menu selection is FAC. This is used to bring the unit back to its original factory calibrated state using all defaults. It is recommended that you confer with a phase two technician before attempting this procedure. After taking a test, notice the M in the screen now has a bar over it. You can save this value by pressing the save button once. The screen will then revert back to zero. To browse the memory, press the read button and scroll through your memorized tests using the up arrow. You can also delete measurements after taking a test while the bar is over the M. Press the delete button. Also, while reviewing the memory, you can change parameters to see the value in the different parameters provided. While reviewing, press the RARZ button continuously to scroll through the different parameter values of your tests. That concludes our testing procedures and menu options. The SRG4000 also has an optional stand. The unit attaches to the stand using two screws on the right side of unit under the height adjusting dovetail. Remove the screws and remove the dovetail. You can now easily attach the unit to the stand. Don't forget to keep the stylus well protected. The five micron diamond tip is extremely delicate. Always keep the work parts or reference samples being tested clean from dust, oil, or other debris. To clean the skid surface, use a damp cloth moistened with rubbing alcohol. This concludes our application and function guide for the Phase 2 SRG4000 Surface Roughness Tester. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at 201-962-7373.